Hey everybody, it's Danny from SAS. You probably have seen me before in some of our Bayesian videos, but I'm actually here today to talk about custom tasks and custom steps inside of SAS Studio. Now, many users have enjoyed being able to run statistical analyses without having to know the exact SAS code that was required. The utilization of SAS Studio tasks gave users a nice reminder of the tasks within SAS Enterprise Guide. Open the task, make a few selections from the provided, and click the Run button. No code knowledge was needed. What if you wanted to customize these tasks? Maybe your workplace would benefit from a task that would be more specific to the needs of the company. That was the purpose of the custom task within SAS Studio. Using XML coding, you could create your own SAS Studio task and share these with your colleagues. The creation of a SAS Studio task reminded me of writing a program within Visual Basic. Step one, you declare all the objects that will appear within the task. Step two, you design the user interface, the UI, using containers to generate the different tabs within the task. Step three, you link the UI items to the program code using a macro style structure that grabs the elements selected from the UI. Optional step four, you enhance your UI by establishing dependencies that will hide or reveal items as you make specific selections. Be honest, would you not make a mistake in all this typing? I said be honest. Customized tasks are great, but what would be another way to accomplish this? Let's look at custom steps within SAS Studio and compare them to customized tasks. The largest difference between a custom task and a custom step is the amount of writing that the user will have to perform. Rather than declaring the objects that will appear within the step, you would simply use the step designer to create the tabs and place the elements on these tabs. With each object that is placed on the designer, you, similar to SAS Enterprise Miner and SAS Model Studio, provide properties for each of these objects. Attention needs to be taken when naming the ID property as that is the reference name used within the program code area. Dependencies can also be established within the properties of an object. The largest similarity between a custom task and a custom step is the program code. Much like tasks, the custom step uses a macro style structure linking the items from the UI to the backing program code. When creating a custom step, we will not have to directly type the UI interface code. As we provide items and properties in the designer, the UI code will be written for us. However, one neat trick is that if you are given JSON UI code and copy paste it into the UI area, the designer items will be created for you. One note to be aware of is the difference in the macro usage between custom tasks and custom steps. Some objects will self-generate macro variables that can assist you in the creation of your program code. For example, when you place a column selector in the step, there will be a macro created that tracks the number of variables selected by the user. This can be of use in loops within the program code. So, We've spent some time today comparing a custom task to a custom step. What do you think? Very different? Some similarities? Try creating a custom step of your own. See if you like it. As always, thank you so much for joining us on today's video. If you have any comments or any questions, don't forget to leave those down below and like and subscribe. Take care.